Hello, thank you for joining me on my channel. Today I've got a technique for you for creating these lovely luxurious backgrounds just from plain white cardstock. You're just going to need some embossing ink, some glue and some uh, blending inks as well. So I've used Distress Oxide. So you can see I've done two colourways there and gold and copper. So let's get started with the technique. You'll find everything I've used linked down below. So we're going to do a couple of different variations of this. We're going to do a blue green one and we're going to do a kind of sort of pinky colour one as well. Um, just to see how they come out. Now these are going to come out different every single time so don't worry if they don't look exactly as mine do, you're never going to get them identical. So I'm going to use a wet glue first of all. The actual um, glue is really quite irrelevant as long as it dries reasonably reasonably quickly. Uh, you don't want something that's remaining thick on wet under your embossing powder for a very long time. I've got myself a flat head paintbrush. This one's been used with glue previously, so it's a little bit stiff, but that doesn't matter. That's absolutely fine. I've ruffled it up a little bit, but an old brush is perfect, but it is preferable to use this sort of flat head one. Uh, like I say, it's a, like a PVA type glue. I've got a craft glue here from Creative Craft Products. I've got myself my gold embossing powder and I've got my Distress inks. You can of course use your blending brushes as well. We'll come to that in a little while. But let's get this gold on first of all. So I'm putting quite a bit of glue onto my flathead brush there. I'm just going to start brushing down some streaks and just in patches. Now, of course, you're not going to be able to see this. Um, because it's clear glue or white glue going onto, onto a white cardstock, but you'll certainly see it. And the idea of using this sort of, you can probably hear it, this sort of scratchy um, paintbrush here, is that you're going to get these lovely lines within the gold. So just as if it's been, uh, there we go, just as if it's been gilded. Put a few more in. There we go. And I'm always working in an up-down motion. I'm not covering the panel at all. I'm just holding it up to the light so I can see. Just wondering if you can see there, if I hold it to the light, you can see the areas that I've picked out with the glue. And I'm going to pop that to the side. So the next stage, you're going to need a scrap of paper here. And you want to lift your cardstock carefully up onto the paper and apply a gold or a silver embossing powder. Of course, you don't have to use gold if you've got a copper colour platinum, but definitely metallic is ideal for the look of this. I really love the gold within the colours. And as you tip that off, you'll see where you've got those streaks of gold in there. So at this stage, if you want to, you can add a bit more. Now you can see where you're going. So I'm going to just add some more just here. there and I think I might add a bit more down here but again always working in that same up down motion try not to get powder onto my um, brush there not ideal and just tap that off there we go so we've got more on that side and more in that corner perfect okay give it a tap takes any excess off Let's just put this excess back in the bottle. So it also always takes a few moments for the heat gun to uh, warm up. Just try not to leave it in any one place for too long while it's doing this. You'll know when it's heated up because straight away your gold will start to melt. You can see it there hopefully just melting as the heat gets to it. Really beautiful. I love embossing. It's the one thing that sort of took me into card making and paper crafting from the very beginning. I saw it being demonstrated in a store and I was blown away straight away. There we go. So there is our, it's it's like you've got a bit of foiling, a bit of gilding on there, just in patches in places rather distressed. It almost looks like a, a gilded sort of birch tree look, doesn't it? So let's now add some colour to this. I'm going to go with the blues and greens for this one now. I'm going to go direct to my cardstock to start with, um, but I will come back and blend that in a little bit. So I'm going to take my ink pad. This is a Distress Oxide in Broken China, and I'm going to drag these down, just like so. I'm always working in that same motion. There we go. And then we want to start thinking about being a bit more solid colour in areas. 
so back and forth now it depends on how old your ink pad is as to how much you need to press on it to really get the color to come through so there we go and then I'm going to take a second color I'm not worried about the colors mixing because I do find that they're so juicy these oxides it really doesn't matter but you can see here how different the green is to uh, the blue so there's a lot more ink coming off so I'm being much lighter with this one and in that area and I don't mind if some of the white areas are peeking through as well but again keeping that a sort of up down motion so now I'm going to take this is where I get my ink blending brushes so starting with broken china and just start rubbing that through don't worry about your embossing we're going to pull that back and then the green as well again up down motions only no side to side no circles which we'd usually do with um, your inks and now you can go in so I think I want a bit more blue on there so pull up a bit more blue and just add it where we want it do you know what might be nice in this actually I'm wondering about adding an even darker blue so what have I got here not tumbled glass let's go with this is my favorite uncharted mariner let's add a touch of this in as well this will be absolutely beautiful I think so I'm building up the colors and again I'm going to bring in my so I'm just using the edge of the pad to get small areas I'm going to bring in the um, the blending brush for the Uncharted Mariner. And again, I nearly went round in circles then. It's just a habit, isn't it? I'm going round and round in circles. There we go. So you may find you think you've actually lost all the gold now. Let's get some more ink, pick it up off the mat and just into that corner. So you see the gold has kind of gone. You get mucky, mucky fingers as well. Let's take a piece of kitchen towel and let's strip this back now. So put your kitchen towel on there and really take off any ink that's on the gold. Now the ink will have soaked into the paper so you don't have to worry about uh, taking it off the paper. You might lighten it slightly. There we go, look. We've got this gorgeous panel finish. Now it's absolutely beautiful. Let's clean this up. I'll pop that aside and I'll clean that up in a moment. And I'm just going to reheat this and by reheating it, it's just reinvigorating that embossing powder. You're just slightly melting it and then moving on again. And it's going to bring back the, the shine and the colour in the embossing powder. Just making sure that any ink particles that are still sitting on there just really get absorbed into the um, embossing ink or embossing powder rather and melted away and you don't see them so the gold stands out as much as possible beautiful there we go so now we've got a lovely gold and weathered look which is a beautiful background and as you saw at the beginning and I'll show you at the end um, the sort of cards you could be making with this now as promised I am going to do another colorway so uh, let's do this in exactly the same way again So there we have it, two cards looking very luxurious and very expensive with that easy to create background. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, everything I've used, including the sentiments that I've just put on top, these come from the Wildflowers Textures Collection, but everything you'll find linked below. Um, most things you can get from Craft Stash. So um, please do subscribe if you like this, and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial.